There's a new book making explosive claims that CIA director Alan Dulles ordered the hit on President John F. Kennedy. The book by David Talbot, he's the editor of Salon.com. It's called In the Devil's Chessboard, Alan Dulles, the CIA, and the Rise of America's Secret Government. It claims that Dulles undermined or betrayed every president he served. Ten years as director of the CIA, Jose, this book is explosive. It's making waves globally, and um, he asserts that this, this very dark time in American history that then CIA director in the interest of national security wanted to take out JFK and in fact did so um, totally undermining the Warren Commission and their finding that um, Lee Harvey Os Oswald acted as a lone gunman and this really sets up a, a pretty dark scenario if it's true. I mean the American public has been looking for these answers for decades and it's very well known how the CIA operates in a different budget. They have the dark budgets, they have these liberties to in take action, sometimes independently from the elected government. They've done operations abroad and domestically that goes in, complete, uh, in a completely different direction than the you know, spoken policy of the country. And it's not surprising that now a very renowned journalist is actually pointing the finger where the problem is at. Well, Talbot asserts that the disastrous way it pegs the perception of the CIA that um, he had to be replaced. Obviously, Dulles, um, he was backing brutally corrupt regimes, and he was replaced um, by John McCone. And this book asserts that um, Dulles had to begin planning the assassination of JFK two years in advance, come back, orchestrate this, you know, succinctly, and then pen it, of course, on, on Oswald. The Warren Commission found that, that he acted alone, and, you know, this rewrites history for a lot of people if it's true. He also paints a pretty dark picture of this man, you know, asserting that he wanted to, to do human experiments with LSD, to program um, assassins to make them zombie-like. Really dark character. And he calls the CIA the most potent agency. And um, this time in the Cold War, this man was allowed to, to have a lot of power and to act um, under the table, if you will. Yes. And it's it's really troubling, fascinating and troubling at the same time. I mean. It's, it's, for me, it's very clear that even John F. Kennedy himself, in one of the last speeches he did before he was assassinated, he said that there was a problem with a hidden agenda within the he government. And he knew that he was being targeted because he wanted to bring light to a lot of issues that at the time were completely hidden from the American public. And as he started learning about this, he was open to say, we need to fight this secrecy. We need to fight this second underground government that is happening. And what happened? He got assassinated. And like you said, this might be very well the proof that there was a major cover-up in this historic assassination of an American president. Mm -hmm. um, Talbot's source supposedly. Um, he, he received a deathbed confession from a man named E. Howard Hunt. Hunt uh, alleges that he was involved in this plot to assassinate. And he's, he's essentially clearing his conscience. And Talbot writes, you know, based on, based on this confession, and he's saying, um, basically that Alan Dulles was at the top of the chain of command on this and that um, Hunt acted because it instilled all the confidence he needed to get away with it. Yeah. And all we have are conspiracy theories. And, and then we have something like this, where we actually have a deathbed confession, and it really makes you think. And I think also the, the, the younger generations are more open to look at the facts. They are not so close to the historical uh, perspective of those who were witnesses of, of the assassination. So I think that also time has allowed for people to come and look at the issue with a different approach, more open to new lines of investigation. And that's why this book is thriving, because Many people is not satisfied with the official version of what went down that evening. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage people to read this book. I'm going to get it and uh, finish it myself. Really looking forward to, to learning more about CIA Director Dulles and his actions at the time, in a time of our country where it was a very dark and tumultuous time. Also, his involvement with JFK's death. What do you make of it? Let us know what you think in the comments below. While you're at it, be sure to check out the rest of our channel. And of course, subscribe to The Lip TV for more.